In class 11, you learned that matter is not just divided as solid, liquids and gases, but it's divided as pure substances and mixtures. Pure substances are the ones which have just one type of atom or molecule and based on that, it was further divided into elements and compounds. Mixtures, on the other hand, were again divided into homogeneous and heterogeneous. What I am... What I would like to point out at this point is that we have so many mixtures around us, right? From the air we breathe to the various alloys that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. And not just that, when we talk about alloys, two different alloys based on their composition of the metals in them, they change their properties too. And that is so cool. So in class 11, you would have taught, you know, we learned about the various properties of pure substances. There was an entire chapter, honestly. And, but then we didn't talk a lot about mixtures. But now we are going to be talking about mixtures and that's in the chapter solutions. So in this chapter, we'll be talking about the various types of solutions, how to express the concentration of the solutions, solubility, vapor pressure of the liquid solutions, ideal and non-ideal solutions. If you remember, vapor pressure was something that you learned in class 11 and so was ideal and non-ideal gases. But here we're going to be talking about ideal and non-ideal solutions. And then we have this unique new property called as colligative properties and determination of molar mass and abnormal molar mass. Honestly, whenever I talk about, whenever I start a physical chemistry chapter, I find it, personally, I like organic chemistry more than I like physical chemistry. I'm going to put that out there. So whenever I try and prepare for a particular chapter, I usually take little time to make my own notes and, you know, do the whole thing. But with solutions, it's so easy and it's it makes it just makes so much sense that it'll be much easier and it'll be easy for you too. Um, also, we'll be discussing like how we do for each chapter. We'll be talking about the various example problems. We'll also be talking about the various um, index questions and the textbook exercises after we finish the whole chapter and index questions and example problems while we do the chapter. So the next video we'll be talking about the various types of solutions.